I got a request on the website a couple of days ago for uh, how to set up a live recording session. So I'm not sh totally sure if he meant to record something live or to use Reaper as a soundboard or um, if you want to do just um, a full band like just 16 channels recording a take multiple times so either way I'm gonna show you how to uh, to do it each way so first we gotta make some tracks so let's uh, make our first track and since we're doing uh, tracking uh, or at least we need 16 audio tracks what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make our first track and name it audio and then I'm going to go ahead and make two sends so I'm gonna have a so have a reverb send so you can do as many of these as you want depending on how good your computer is so this one I'm gonna put uh, reverberate how about that sure okay so now in this one you know let's put another one on let's put a Let's put on a digital delay as well. So we have Reaper Redelay. Okay. I'm not actually going to listen to this, but you know your settings that you use, so you can go ahead and change them. All right, so we have two sends. So we got to go from our audio track, send out to de delay. And this here. Send out to reverb. Okay, and now these sends are all the way up, which we don't want. We want to start them totally off um, for now. So now that we have that, uh, let's keep these tracks dry. Actually, you know, let's put the re EQ on. It's not too CPU intensive, and we can tweak them a little bit here and there. Uh, maybe even do the recomp on there. I mean, I'm running at. There's only one track, of course, and I'm running at about, only I'm at a 64 buffer on an internal sound card, and I'm not using a lot of CPU. So let's uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna duplicate this track. You can right click and go to duplicate, or you can just um, Control D and it'll duplicate it as well. Let's so click on the track you want, Control D, over and over again until you have 16 of them or however many inputs your interface has. Now you see obviously CPU time went up to about 40%. Um, that's to be expected because you know you got some plugins on there now. And of course since we're using um, all the Reaper plugins they all have zero latency. So um, the only latency you'll hear when you're tracking if the artists are listening to this is just your buffer delay. Anyway, so you can go ahead and you can rename these. All right, so now we got our tracks and we just name them. Now what we want to do is we want to just track this. So let's hide our mixer for now. And what you want to do is I'd recommend zooming out quite a bit so that your page is not page it's not flipping as you go because if you go if you go in too far and you play, you would have a lot of this movement just you know some computers won't matter but it just adds more chance for failure more chance for artifacts or anything like that so I would zoom out to the length of which you think your song is going to be so if you're you know doing a if you're just doing one song at a time you know uh, we're looking at six minutes here it should be so what you want to do is you want to select your first track scroll to the bottom hold shift and then click the last one and it'll highlight them all. So now when we press on the record button, they're all taking signal in. Now I only have one input on this, but for simulation purposes, you can see all the meters. And what you just do to change your input is go to mono input and you just go one through 16 or whatever you might have. And um, as of right now, if we do this recording, we're not actually gonna hear ourselves in the in the mix so if you have like a stereo speaker that they're listening back on or a set of headphones through headphone routing which I'll do um, I'll do a more intricate headphone mixing uh, tutorial later but um, right now we're not listening to anything because we have this um, this speaker is not checked off if we check off the speaker 
Now it's going to come through your speakers. Um, you're going to start hearing what you're actually monitoring while you're recording. So if you don't need to hear what you're monitoring, um, you can keep that you keep this off. If you do need to hear it, you need to make sure your buffer is down as low as possible for your computer um, and make sure this is uh, lit up. If you don't need to hear what you're monitoring, I would suggest putting your buffer as high as possible so that you have less chance for pops and clicks and that sort of thing. So, so we're going to go as if you're listening to it. So we're going to make sure our buffer is all the way down. However, you might have to do that. This is ASIO for all. Um, so that's why it looks like that. So we're going to check this off. And now what we're going to want to do is highlight the area in which you want to record in this time selection. And why would we do that? I'll show you why. So let's basically just highlight everything that we can see in our page, which right now is like almost eight minutes. And uh, what we're going to do down here in the record button is right click and change it to record mode time selection auto punch. So what that's going to do is it's going to record everything within this area and stop right there. I'm going to do this on a small scale, so I'm only going to be recording 10 seconds. Same thing for your five minute song or whatever. And what's good about this is if you only play half your song and everyone stops and you say, oh no, we messed up. If you have it set to this mode, it's going to complete your take to the end of this time selection so that you don't get, you know, a weird chop in the middle of your song. And um, for your for when you're going to your, do all your takes, it's not going to look all weird. So let's record our first uh, take here. Uh, you want to make sure you have off your loop player or else it'll automatically start recording again which we don't want uh, let's click on record and once you get to the end we're gonna press stop all right that's good and now if we do it again like I mentioned if you were to record and get halfway through and stop recording getting halfway through and stop it completes the take to the end with empty space why is that good it's good because if you don't do that, instead of having two full takes, the whole length of our time selection, we'd have two takes here and one take here, which would get very sloppy when you're doing um, like 10 of these at a time. Anyway, that's how you would do it for a small session of doing one song at a time with a full band, you know, just trying to get that live sound of all jamming together. So now what do you do if you want to do just go to a concert that your band is playing and somehow get a split out of the board and um, record everything into your computer just one whole thing well you definitely don't want our time selection for that we're just doing one continuous thing and we're going to uncheck these and then what we're going to do is go to beginning of the session you can just do regular record mode for this and since you're not listening back to it because you're just playing your concert and recording everything multi-tracked in you're going to want to have your buffer as high as possible to reduce any as many chances of artifacts and then we're just going to simply record and let it keep on let it keep on going you know it'll and i also recommend zooming out to as long as you think your show might be it's a two hour mark right around here and just let it keep going i mean it'll just keep on so that was for recording a live show if you're not listening back to it if you are listening back to it or let's do it is if you're going to try to run sound with Reaper, which I've never tried it. Not sure if I would recommend it. Um, I'm a little leery on trusting a computer to be able to do something that needs to be that reliable. But um, I know people that have been doing it with Logic or other things like that. So why can't, why wouldn't Reaper be able to do it? So uh, what you're going to do on this one is you have to keep it record enabled. And we need to make sure the speaker's on and turn the buffer all the way down. And if we're going to just be, if you're going to be recording with it and going to be doing the mixing at the same time, you're going to not do time selection because you're going to be recording, you know, two hour show or whatever. And you can just um, click record and let it go away. And as it goes and records, you can just go down here and start your mix. That's it. Um, hope this tutorial helped you out a little bit. And what was mentioned in the request uh, that was posted was that he wanted to have the an analyzer. As you can see, it's um, in real time. It's definitely we're doing the analyst. You can have this open if you wanted to 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 check things out for your for your response and everything. So as long as your computer is stable enough, you shouldn't have any problems. This is tutorials for Reaper.com. I'm Johnny from Red Sticker Records.